Hi there. Today we're going to test the new Sonoff Mini Dry Contact Matter Smart Switch. This is a great solution for automating your dumb garage door opener. So this relay offers Wi-Fi connectivity, so no hub is required. It works over the MATA protocol, allowing you to support all sorts of ecosystems. It can be supplied with either AC or DC power supply, and it's a dry contact. So perfect for garage doors, motors, gates, and other specialized equipment. Um, it supports a DC load of a maximum of eight watts. So having a look at our wiring, we can supply power either via AC or DC. We have our external switch inputs over there. We then have our relay, which normally open or normally close contacts. And remember, this is only DC power on the load supply and a maximum of eight watts. So having a look at the device, it comes in a nice, neat little box. We'll just open this up. Inside, we have our instruction guide and then we have the relay itself. So having a look at the casing, nice small design. We've got a little button here which can turn the relay on and off as well as put the device into pairing mode. We have a status LED over here. Um, we have our screw terminals for the relay and for power, switch and DC power. The device was really easy to connect up. I just opened the eWi Link app, press the plus button, select scan, and get the QR code on the back of the relay, scan it in with the camera, and that detected the type of device. I then went add device, and next, because I'd already powered it on, press the button for five seconds to put it into pairing mode, select yes. You can see there now that it's detected it, so I just go connect. It now scans my Wi-Fi automatically. You do need to have your phone connected to the 2.4 gigahertz for this. So now that it's connected, we can click on the device. We can control the relay from here. We can then go into the three dots to edit the settings over here. So over here we have the switch mode. So we've got a couple of modes here. We've got pulse mode, edge mode, and following mode. We can also reverse the action of the switch. And then we've got the detach relay. So this allows us to effectively detach the switch from the relay. Next up, I wanted to see if I could add this directly to Home Assistant using Matter. So I went add integration, add Matter device. No, it's new. And I put it back into pairing mode and I scanned the QR code. This took a couple of minutes, but as you can see, it's connected up well, I'm sure you can think of lots of uses for this little dry contact matter smart switch. Please let me know in the comments if you've got anything special that you're going to do with it. That's all for now. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.